What is up? Well, it's time for me to do another uh, update blogging video because it's been a pretty big weekend. And like I did with uh, one of my previous blogs, I'll throw in some footage of me skiing at the end of this video and I'll show you guys where I'm gonna be headed uh, towards the end of this blogging video. But first off, I'd like to say that I finally graduated with my master's degree in exercise science. And I'm, I'm sure there are some of you out there who may be thinking, what a useless degree. And it really all depends on your mindset. And right now, for me, my main goal is just to get more experience. And although I have some experience as serving as a, an assistant command fitness leader in the Navy and through a couple of my classes with helping to teach an adult fitness class, I just definitely want to get more experience, you know, with one-on-one -on -one coaching, whether it's helping people live a more healthier lifestyle or helping someone to do their first 5K race or maybe helping someone place in their respected division in an obstacle course race whatever it may be whatever sport i'd just like to get a little more experience and i'm not really much in a hurry to really move and a little bit more on that but yes that is pretty much been wrapped up no more classroom uh, stuff to worry about as far as going on to doctorate school i'm just going to leave it at this there are some milestones that i have decided that i want to reach before i even consider going back into the classroom so with that being said enough of that the next thing which i'm sure a lot of you are aware about is the total eclipse that just occurred and although i did not get the greatest footage it's not like one of those things where you can be like mm, i have to redo it because once it happens it's done with there are no second chances but i will throw in a couple of clips that i did get during the uh, during the event but i will say that the experience was really what it was all about you know seeing from when the moon started to e you know just like start covering the sun you know f from the very beginning to its very end and along were like the very gradual changes especially like in air temperature it must have cooled off like five to ten degrees before totality and then further cooling off another five or so degrees during totality and also beforehand the light would become slightly more dim and i actually read that right before totality the amount of light that we would be getting was like equivalent to like that of like uh, Neptune. So it was pretty a pretty awe inspiring experience. And I must say it was probably one of the most, if not the most spiritual experience I've ever had. Not to mention probably the most magnificent thing I've ever seen when looking up at the sky. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where I'm tempted to like perhaps be one of those people that are termed an eclipse chaser. I mean, that's, it's one of those like uh it's, it's really hard to explain it's like i i even got like a rush like almost a bigger rush than i that i've exp than i've ever experienced and like even when i'm skiing so i guess that just shows you how really spiritual spiritual something like that can be and with that being said here's just some uh quick footage uh this first clip is right before totality All right, I'm about to show you what I was able to get of totality. As you can see, not the greatest footage, but you can kind of see like the donut sh shape of the sun. And here it is. Now you can see. And then, of course, daylight returns. Well, well, that was the past two minutes. <laughs> you know, when you're waiting for the microwave to eat your coffee, two minutes is a long time. You know? Wow. And let's not forget about the one thing that <laughs> was probably the biggest challenge. The traffic heading back home. Oh, my gosh. Talk about a traffic nightmare. It was what should have been only a six and a half hour drive took me 13 and a half hours. And here's just how bad it was. 
it's been like four or five hours after the eclipse and I've gone about seven miles in the last hour and a half and as you can see it looks like I'm not going to be getting anywhere anytime soon so it looks like I'm going to be sitting here parked not going anywhere so what's supposed to be a six hour six and a half hour drive might be more than 24 hours at the rate this is going yep that was the kind of traffic I was sitting in hardly moving I think I was averaging about three miles an hour for like the first five hours after the eclipse but I, I was kind of expecting that. I mean, when you have hundreds of thousands of people cramming into a, you know, these smaller towns and then everyone leaving all at once, <laughs> that's to be expected. But it was well worth the experience. And it is something that I'm going to remember for probably the rest of my life. And so, with that being said, I was going to talk about, uh, like, job opportunities and if they do present themselves. And with that being said, if one does present itself, I'm going to be kind of selective on where I would be willing to relocate to because I do have some fitness goals that I am pretty much dead set on wanting to achieve no matter what the odds are and there are very there seem to be very select areas where I can actually train year-round for both obstacle course racing and downhill ski racing and as you can see here this is some fun terrain especially you like to do like some hill sprint workouts to get yourself ready for obstacle course racing not, I mean I would definitely want to move to a location where I could be at least within an hour's drive to such places like this because I for one am not big on training in the city I'm just not a city person there's just too much stress too much frustration too much anger and I don't find that a very conducive environment to want to train in. So I will be kind of selective on where I go if a job opportunity does present itself. And as you can see, I'm even kind of just getting a little, a little winded going up here. But there's that spot I'm going to be heading to. Right down there. Hike along that trail. Uh, what's called uh, Bagley Lakes and then just get a few laps on that s snow field over there and upon success it will be month 64 where I have gotten at least one day of skiing in during the month so time for me to head back relocate myself to that trailhead down there I'm gonna be hiking along that trail down there and to that snow patch over there oh yeah and then talk about explosiveness. It's like doing a box jump, just making sure, oh, that's a little slick, good thing I didn't. But of course, if I had some momentum, I would just go for it. But as you can see, this is definitely some fun terrain for obstacle course racing. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Thank you once again for following me on my journey to success, despite the daily challenges I face with anxiety and depression. I do my best to come out on top, even though some days are definitely a lot more challenging than others. So, off I go. Thanks again, everyone. Peace out. Huh. Ah. <sighs>